Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, sweetie, good evening. How are you? How are you today? Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hi, it's a pleasure to see you, my dear students. How are you? How are you today? Very nice. Very it's nice. Day. It's a per it was a perfect day. Why? ¿Qué pasó ahora? Cuéntenme que lo hizo perfecto. Pagaron ahora. <laughs> yeah, that's a very, that's a way. That's a very good uh, source of happiness. And for you to have a very good Father's Day, definitely. Uh, Jose Eduardo, do you have children? Yes, one. Only one. Okay, so happy Father's Day for you. Let's see, Mr. Victor. Thanks. Mr. Victor, no sé qué nos ha dejado viendo, Victor. Eh? Hi, hi. <laughs> Hello. Victor, do you have children? Yes, I have two daughters. Two daughters. Wow, happy Father's Day for Victor as well. Mr. Ronald, do you have children? Yes. How many? One. Only one. Happy Father's yeah. Day for you too. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Mr. Jose Daniel Baldizón, do you have children? Hello, teacher. Hi, do you have children? ¿Tienes niños? Uh, no. <laughs> no yet. Okay. <laughs> Father in potency. <laughs> Moises, do you have children? Yes, I do. How many? <laughs> huh? Ah, no. Ay, I said like, oh my God. I <laughs> no yet. Todavía no. Todavía está un padre en potencia. <laughs> and for all the ladies, happy Father's Day to your father. Okay. Dale feliz día del padre a sus esposos o a sus papás. And for all of you, happy Father's Day. That would be a very nice. Or if, if you have like a, like a paternal figure at home, that it's not your father, but he is like, he, if he were, happy Father's Day too. Mr. Juan Guzman, welcome to the class. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Mr. Juan, do you have children? Oh. Uh, mm, good evening. Indirectly. <laughs> indirectly. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Father's Day for you. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> indirectly. Yeah. But if if <laughs> if you are the figure, yes. Si usted es la figura, si usted es la figura okay. de papá. Qué lindo. <laughs> Mr. Jonathan Fernando, do you have children? Hi, good evening. Mr. Jonathan, ¿tienes hijos? No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> I, I like his uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, es un loco, es un no. <laughs> no. <laughs> ¿Cómo hay? Sí, me encanta, salió del alma ese. No, uy, no. Me yeah. han asustado. Yes. Y para uh, todas las, las mamás, Mary, Mary todavía no tiene niño, pero. No, es like another face that comes from the heart, ya ven. Esa expresión de Mary viene del alma. Me no. quiero. It's like no. No, never say that you don't want. Nunca digan, ay, no, yo nunca voy a tener hijos. No, tampoco, tampoco. <laughs> I, I, remember, I remember that I used to say like, no, yo quizás nunca voy a tener hijos. <laughs> y ahí anda. <laughs> my little, my little angel. <laughs> Teacher. Yes? Do you have children? I do. I have one. He is five yes. years old. Oh. Okay. <laughs> He's five years old. Yeah. Sell kite hood. Exactly like I his mother. <laughs> comprendo. Yeah, salió I, ha, su mama. I have mm -hmm. I have a uh, one daughter and he is el demonio. <laughs> <laughs> 
hija de Víctor, este, tu mamá, tu papá eh, no quiso decir eso. <risa> Y en el futuro, allá por el 2040, está viendo este video, eh, tu papá no, era el de Tasmania, eh, el muñequito. <laughs> ok, my dear students, tomorrow it's Father's Day, remember to celebrate with your family members, and I hope you receive a lot of gifts. Mr. Oscar, I am sure that he has children, right? Si tiene juguetillos ahí para mostrar en cámara, hay niños. <laughs> ¿Cuántos hijos tiene Oscar? Ahí se nos quedó congelado. One. Only one. Hey, that's pretty awesome. Yes. Okay. So happy Father's Day to all of you. My dear class, as we were talking, by now you should have been done with the section four, right? Ya todos están, ya todos terminaron la sección cuatro de la plataforma. A muchos ahí tuvimos unos cuantos dificultades ahí para terminarla, pero la terminamos. En uh, we're going to just do a short review oh, of it, okay? <clears throat> Ay, come on. <laughs> so let me just open it. Cuando mi computadora quiera y se digne abrir. Teacher. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Teacher. Yes. Uh, yo tenía like problemas para trabajar con con la sección cuatro. Ajá. No, ¿Qué no pasó? Puedo iniciar. ¿Qué pasó? Uh, Por el trabajo no, no, no he tenido ah. mucho espacio. Pero ahora, ahora voy a iniciar con, con la 4 y la 5, creo que, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, si no, trabaje la ahorita que la vamos a revisar. Ah, si no, ahorita, ahorita <risa> mismo la puede ir completando. <risa> For sure. So, eh, we are going to work on this one, right? Remember that on this one we had little activities with the picture, right? You have to describe. Uh, what the people were wearing on the picture, just the only thing that the jacket was light green. The picture was the one with the incorrect colors, right? La foto no nos salió con los mejores colores. So, in this case, we have, we have Beth, Nick, Anita, John, and Bruce, right? And in this case, we have questions, right? Is Bruce wearing a light green jacket? Yes, he is, right? And in this case, the problem was the period. El punto era el error de, esta, de este ejercicio. Que nosotros le poníamos, yes, he is, pero si no le ponían el puntito, no funciona. Yes, he is. Is Nick wearing sunglasses, right? Nick is wearing glasses, but they are not sunglasses, right? You say, no, he is not, right? No, he is not. Is Beth wearing a purple jacket and pants? Beth is wearing a purple jacket and pants, right? Here you can see it, right? A purple jacket and pants. And the next one, you say, yes, she is. The next one, is John wearing blue jeans? No, he is not. Because John is not wearing blue jeans. He is wearing black pants. And is Anita wearing a yellow skirt? Anita? is wearing a light blue skirt. So in this case, no, she is not. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so this was this part, right? No, she is not. And this was for exercise, the first exercise that we had here. In this section, we had three exams, right? The second one was to follow the example that we were using yesterday. Ayer estuvimos usando esta estructura. I am wearing, I am not wearing, right? So this was the only thing that you were going to write. I am wearing, I am not wearing. And in the case of Claire, my name is Claire, I am wearing a green suit today. Y si estaba usando tacones, you say, I am wearing high heels too. It is important the use of the apostrophe, okay? Tienen que tener el apóstrofe correcto al momento de escribirlo. Es la rayita. Porque algunos le ponen comillas y esa es la que no acepta la plataforma, right? I am wearing high heels too. It's raining, but I a raincoat. ¿Está usando un abrigo para lluvia? No. No, right? I am not wearing, not wearing a raincoat, right? I am not wearing a raincoat. 
Look at the kids. What objects do they have on? ¿Qué están usando los chicos? What objects can you see? Cap. Cap. Uh, uh, T-shirts. T-shirt, short. Shorts. Shoes. Patines. Skates. 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 Skates and protection gear. Protection gear, it's the, the gloves, the, the, the things that you use to protect your elbows, your knees. Rodillas. This is protection gear. 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 And I'm going to, to send it on the chat. So lo voy a enviar al chat para que lo tenga. Protection gear. Protection gear. Protection gear. Protection gear. It's like eh, objetos, objetos o... Eh, how do you call this? It's not material de protección. Es como... Ay, I have the word in Spanish, but I don't remember. But it's the object that you use. Coderas. Coderas. Pero todo el, 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 el conjunto. No me acuerdo cómo se llama en español. El kit. El kit. El equipo. 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 Very good. Equipo de protección. Right? Mm -hmm. For the knees, for the hands, for the okay. elbows, right? Protection gear. Good. Okay. Zero so, kid. Here. It's on the chat. I send it to you on the chat. So uh, it says, it is hot today. Tashi and Noriko are wearing shorts and t-shirts. It is very yeah. sunny, but they are not wearing sunglasses. Sunglasses son los negritos, vea. Los normales son glasses. glasses. Los de sol, sunglasses. sunglasses. They are not wearing sunglasses, que son gafas de sol. In the next one, there you have feel. Feel is... Yeah. Yes? I'm sorry. Eh, los de eh, sol son glasses. Y estos... Ok. Los normales que usted carga ahorita son glasses. Glasses, solo así, glasses. Y eso, son glasses porque son para el sol. Son glasses. Thank you. Okay, and the normal ones are glasses, right? Like, uh, well, I have my glasses, I don't know where, but I, I wear them <laughs> from time to time. <coughs> ya cuando me vean con lente voy a decir, ¿quién es ella? <laughs> I never wear them, but I should. Feel, feel, look at poor feel here. Phil tiene como cara de, de, no sé, como de decepción, le veo. Look at Phil. Ahí está Phil. Phil is wearing a suit today. He is wearing a brown shirt, right? Está ocupando una camisa café. A brown shirt. But he is not wearing, he is not wearing, there you go, a tie. He is not wearing a tie today. And the last one, you have Katie. It's cold today, but Katie is not wearing a coat. No tiene un abrigo. She is wearing sweatshirt. Sweatshirt, son estas camisetas como para hacer ejercicio. Gloves and a hat. Sudadera, right? Sweatshirt es sudadera. De, su propósito es que sude. <laughs> sudadera. Eh, gloves. Gloves. <laughs> gloves and a hat. Gloves. She is wearing, right? And she is not wearing boots, but she is wearing sneakers, right? No anda botas, pero si anda zapatillas de deporte, sneakers. And that's it, right? That was basically this part of the presentation, wearing or not wearing, okay? And on the last exercise that we had for this unit, right? The last exercise that we had, and cha -cha -chan, cha -cha -chan, I think I did the last one, right? Ya les habíamos hecho el último. So we didn't do the first one. Ah, this one is the one that we didn't do. El primero no había hecho. Is this Jennifer's hat? No, it is not hers. It is mine. Lo que les explicaba ayer. Los eh, possessive go at the end, right? No, it's not hers. It's mine. Are these your gloves? Because it's before the object. Are these your gloves? The next one. No, they are not my gloves. Let's ask Sally, porque va antes del objeto. 
my, no mine. Maybe they are hair gloves, right? Mm -hmm. Whose t-shirts are these? Mm -hmm. Are they Julie's and Pat's? Whose, porque estamos buscando el dueño, right? Whose t-shirts are these? And it says, no, they are not. Y como estamos hablando de Julie y Pat's, their t-shirts, mm -hmm. okay? But these socks mm -hmm. are theirs, porque el espacio está al final de la oración, right? Theirs. And these shorts are yours, because it is at the end of the sentence. Hey, these are not our clothes. You're right. Ours are over there. In this case, you are going to use ours at the beginning. Ours. Uh -huh. ours. You are going to use ours because eh, you don't have any other object. No tienen otro objeto. Si aquí dijera clothes are over there, tendríamos que ocupar our. Oh, our. Our clothes are over there. Pero como no tenemos otro objeto en la oración, sino que este es el objeto completo, se refiere a las nuestras. Las nuestras, o sea, nuestra ropa. Las nuestras están allá. So in this case, the last one is ours. And that's it, right? That was unit number four. Se las muestro por si dejaron alguna con 80%, con 90% para que la hagan completa y les quede al 100% toda su plataforma. ¿Ok? And, let's see, eh, the last one, for sure, the unit that we are going to be working for the next week, for the next days, right? Esta ya la pueden empezar a trabajar las 5, hay algunos que ya la terminaron. ¿Ok? I am going to wait for it to load. ¿Yes? A mí no me dejó avanzar en la plataforma 5. ¿Por qué? Hay un ejercicio que me permite mudarle a enviar. El último. El de los reloj, no, el de los reloj, cuando está preguntando la hora que marcan los reloj, uh -huh. ahí no me permite darle a enviar. ¿Será que ha dejado algunos sin contestar? A mí, a mí sí me, me, me permite enviar, pero eh, todas me salen equivocadas, ya le hice tres veces. Ok, ya lo vamos a ir a hacer. No, sé, a hacer. no sé si yo soy Teacher. el topado. No, go on. Ya lo vamos a ir a hacer. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Yes, yes. Mm, a lo mejor es porque son dos respuestas por cada pregunta. Porque a mí me ha pasado lo mismo. Y... A mí sí, porque son dos respuestas que tiene cada uno. A mí, yo creo a que mí es. me pasaba de que, por ejemplo, yo veía que faltaba, un, eran las 8 y 45, pero no, en realidad la aguja estaba ya como marcando las 9. Entonces, o yo ponía que eran las 8 y en realidad faltaba un cuarto a las 9. Y yo no. ponía Ajá. algo así, algo así Ay, me yo... pasaba. Pero... <ríe> Okay, so with that one, you have to be very careful, right? You have to be very careful with that, with that part of the platform. I'm going to stop sharing for me to, to move it. No me quiere cargar esta cosa. There we go. Se pone nerviosa cuando la ven. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay, I am going to open number five so we can work on the time. Le voy a abrir la número 5 para que podamos ver lo de los relojes. And here we go. Before we go on this one, before we go on this one, we need to explain something, ¿ok? Antes de irme a esta parte, voy a explicarles esta parte. Sé que me voy a brincar un poquito ahorita de lo que tengo que explicarles, pero es importante. Ok. I have here, my friend, the time. Right? The time. In English, we divide the time into parts, past and to, ¿ok? El tiempo se divide en estas dos maneras. Se divide en la forma de past y en la forma de to. ¿Qué significa past? Pasan de. Todos los que van para este lado es past. En todos los que van para este lado es to. Imagínense que lo dividimos en dos partes. Okay. ¿Cuánto vale cada numerito? Vamos a ver, vamos a hacer un ejercicio de kindergarten. Five. Five. 
crean, crean, Ay, mira. créanlo o no, hay quienes Ay. en este mundo no pueden leer estos relojes. Es cierto. Ajá, y sucede, y sucede. Así que por ejemplo les digo, vamos a hacer un ejercicio aquí. Ay, okay, we are going to do this, this exercise from kindergarten. So, we are going to go and we are going to practice here. Let me see here. We are going to go. Let me see. I, I move it. Okay. Let me just do the following. I am going to mark it. Okay. I am going to mark it here. And I am going to give you different examples of the, the, the time. So in this case, if you have, for example, a 20 past, okay, 20 past one, lo vamos a borrar ahí, el nombre no va a ser. <laughs> so in this one, five past, 10 past, it's a quarter past, it's 20 past, it's 25 past. Si se fijan, son cinco minutos de diferencia entre cada uno de los ejemplos. Aquí tenemos la aguja pequeña, es la de las horas y la aguja grande es la de los minutos. Okay, it's important to remember it. It's important to remember this as well. So imagine, imagine that the small one is here on the two and the big one is here on 11. Okay, imagine that the big one is on 11. Ay, qué horrible me sale esa, esa rara. <laughs> per, perdón. <laughs> bah. Siempre listos, nunca inlistos. There you go. Imagínense que ahí está en el 5. So you say, it's 5 to 2. It's 5 to 2. It means that it means 5 minutes to 2. Faltan 5 para las 2. Todos los que son 2 es para. 5, 10, 15, 20 para la siguiente hora. Y past es pasan de. Si por ejemplo, en este caso yo tuviera no aquí esa rayita, sino que la tuviera aquí. Hey, hombre. <ríe> aquí. It would be 25. It's 25 past 2. 25 pasan de las 2. Uh -huh. It's 25 past 2. Or it would be 2.25. But in the case of the clocks, you say it's 25 past two or 20 minutes past two. So this is important. What time is it right now? ¿Qué hora es ahorita? 9.24. It's nine? It's nine. Ah. Uh -huh. It's nine. Nine. Okay. It's 20 past 9. Okay, we're going to do all the options. We say 20, 25 past 9. 25 past 9. Or you can say it's 9, 25. Right? So there you have the two options, right? It's 25 past nine, it's like 25 pasan de las nueve, or 9.25, son las nueve, 25. So you have the two options of giving the time. Now, let's go back to the platform. Ahora sí, vámonos a la plataforma. And in here, on the platform, you have the two options. Select two possible correct answers. Tienen que seleccionar dos. Y es ahí el por qué quizás no la deje enviarla. Right? You have to select two. And it says, what time is it? It's 20 after two. 20 after or 20 past. And it's 2.20. You have the two options. In this one, what time is it? La aguja chiquita está en el 7 y la otra en el 10. What options can you choose in this one? It's, it's 10 to 7. It's 10 to 7, and the other one? Um, no, 7. 6.50. 6.50. 6.50. 6.50. Son las 6.50, porque faltan 10 todavía para las 7. It's 6. Yo me equivocaba porque era las 7 y 50. 
Oye, cuando para los las 7.50, decía yo, no sale. So, it's 10 to 7, and it's 6.50, right? And the next one, look at this one. Falta, ¿cuánto? Un cuarto a las... 15. Un cuarto a las 9, right? Un cuarto a las 9. So it's 8. Right. It's 9. 9.45 8.45 ok, no son las 9.45 son las 8.45 it's 8.45 or it's a quarter to 9 a quarter to 9 right? falta un cuarto a las 9 the next one it's 11 and 5 minutes it's 5 Pass. 11 or 11.05. 11.05. Son las 7.05. 11.05. 11.05. It's 5 to 1. It's not possible, ¿verdad? Porque la hoja pequeña es de las horas. So, in this case, it's not possible. And the, and the next one, in this case, it's 3. 3. 15. 15. 3. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. Very. Half past hour. You have, it's four, half four, past half. four. Media hora pasan de las cuatro. The first one. And it's four thirty. Four thirty. Four thirty. It's four thirty. And that's it. <laughs> okay, so now you can work on the rest on your own. <laughs> <laughs> copy, copy. The first one. La, no, la, la uno. uno el ejemplo. Ah, ok. Ajá, la uno era el ejemplo. Ahí está la uno, ya está hecha. Queda no, de la copia la primera, va a decir. <laughs> The first one, teacher. <laughs> Saque el desayuno. <laughs> yes, I can see. Well, my dear students, le voy a pasar lista antes que nada suceda. Y para que podamos seguir con el siguiente tema. Let's see. Stephanie Guadalupe Galdames. Present. Thank you. Janet Rosibel. Present, teacher. Jonathan Fernando González. Here, teacher. José Daniel Valdizón Alvarenga. Present. José Eduardo Mengíbar Hernández. Present. José Wilfredo Coreas. José Wilfredo Coreas. ¿Dónde andas? No, not here today. Let's see. Juan Pablo Guzmán. Here. Carla Sofía Ramírez. Carla Sofía. Here. Thank you. Laura Lisset Díaz. Laura Lisset. Laurita, no vino Laurita. Laura Lisset. Se nos perdió ahora. Anda vagando, celebrando el día del padre. Madeline Rocío. Here. María del Carmen. Here. Thank you. María Elena Flores. Present. Mary Guadalupe López. Present. Moisés Antonio Segueda. Present. Nancy Jocelyn Sánchez. Present. Oscar Antonio Ramos. Present. Osmilda Claribel. Present. Thank you. Paola Lucía. Paola Lucía Cruz. Se me fue a dar la Paola. Anda celebrando el Día del Padre también. Regina Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Ricardo Alexander. 
Mr. Ricardo Alexander. Ahí está Lucy, ve. Lucy, welcome. Hola, hello, teacher. Eh, fíjese que tengo un problema, no sé si solo a mí me sucede, pero, o es mi inter, pero de repente como que me saca y me vuelve a ingresar a la, a la, a la clase. It's the internet. Pero, creo que es mi inter. <laughs> yes, it happens. Vamos a subir a los megas. Yeah, please. <laughs> Or in some cases, it's the capacity of the computer. In some cases, the internet is Hola. good, but the computer is not that good. Ya se me quedó aquí. Pero la, ya la puse, ya la puse en asistencia. Thank you, Paola. Regina Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Ricardo Alexander. Ah, el, la Ricardo andaba buscando, no lo oí. Eh, Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Ronald Ernesto Díaz. Present. Thank you very much. Rosa María Miguel. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosy Natalie. Present teacher. Ruth Daniela. Ruth Daniela Molina. Sofía Geraldine. Víctor Alfredo. Present teacher. Eh, Xiomara Elizabeth. Present teacher. Yancy Yamilet. Sofía ya me levantó la manita ahí. Ya la vi. Eh, Yancy Yamilet. Anaya. Yancy, Yancy. Eh, Yesenia Beatriz. Yesenia Beatriz Galán. Present teacher. En Zulma Mercedes. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Three, four. Good. And we are 26. So I'm missing one, two, three, four, five. Good. Okay, Sophia has problems. She says that she cannot activate the, the things. Okay, but she is here. Yeah, ya vimos a Sophia. Ahí está. Thank you, my dear students. So based on this, we are going to continue working a little bit on uh, what we were developing. Uh, but before everything and before anything else happens, I am going to tell you about something that is going to happen next week. Next week, we are going to finish the module on Thursday. El módulo se termina el día jueves 23. And for that day, we are going to have oral evaluations, ¿ok? El último día de clases es dedicado a las evaluaciones orales, ¿ok? How am I going to do it? ¿Cómo vamos a presentar? Oh my God. <laughs> Everybody is going to have the opportunity to prepare a small presentation about three people, ¿ok? Cada uno de ustedes va a preparar una presentación con tres personas. Pueden ser tres miembros de su familia, tres fotos de miembros de su familia. Si los quiere tener en vivo y a todo color ahí, you can use it. Or if you want to use pictures like this, you can do it. Okay? Si quiere hacer una PowerPoint, you can do it. But the idea is that you have three, three people, right? Tienen que tener a tres personas. I am going to do the example. Les voy a hacer el ejemplo de lo que sería su presentación oral. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo sería? ¿Ok? Imagínense que aquí tengo a mis tres miembros de mi familia. I have here my husband Pepito. This is my husband, Pepito. Pepito is acting. He loves acting because he's very sociable. He's very friendly. He's very uh, outgoing. And As you can see here today, he is acting. He is wearing a blue shirt and blue uh, leggings because it's part of the outfit. And he is wearing brown shoes. Pepito is from Russia. He is Russian. He is 40 years old and he is very romantic and friendly. This is Pepito. This is my sister, Juanita. This is my sister Juanita, right? Juanita is cleaning the garden today, right? Juanita is wearing a pink jacket, a blue blouse, blue jeans, and brown shoes. And she's wearing 
a hair band, right, today. Juanita is from El Salvador. She is Salvadorian. She is 30 years old. She is very friendly. She is talkative. She is beautiful and tall. This is my sister Juanita. She has white skin and green eyes. There you go. And in here, I have my father. This is my father, Ernesto. My father is working on the garden today, right? He's working on the garden today. He's working with the road, with the roses, right? Mm -hmm. My father is wearing jeans, a red shirt, <coughs> and brown shoes. He has short hair, white skin, and green eyes. He is wearing gloves to protect his hands uh, on the garden. My father is very friendly, very talkative, very handsome, very extrovert, and very uh, kind. I love my father. He is from Mexico. He is Mexican. He is 61 years old. Thank you for your attention. Bye-bye. So that's the presentation. Eso es lo que ustedes van a hacer. Escogiendo a tres personas. Tres fotos. Vamos a describir the name, the nationality, the age, the appearance. What is he or she doing? What is he or she wearing? Right? And the general description of the person. Ahí le voy a enviar yo a cada uno de ustedes en el WhatsApp lo que tiene que llevar cada persona. Ok. Questions. Se sienten ya, se afligieron. Ya los vi a todos con cara de sí, si, si hacemos una diapositiva, <risa> la podemos yes. levantar aquí. Yes. Ah. If you do a PowerPoint, you can share it. La pueden, la pueden compartir y todos la vamos a ver. La de sí. the next week. It's for Thursday. Es para el jueves la de la siguiente clase. semana. The last class. Con eso cerramos nuestra clase. Con eso cerramos nuestro módulo. Ok. Ah, ya, sí. ya puso aflicción ahí. Ajá. Si no, no están las personas, podemos poner la foto de los celulares. Y... Yes, you can create a PowerPoint. Usted puede hacer su PowerPoint ahí con la foto y la va describiendo. Ah, okay. okay. But on the PowerPoint, only the picture. Ok. No me va a poner todo on the PowerPoint and otra, you are going otra, to read. Do, uh -huh. Dos preguntas. Yes. Este, digo, hacer la presentación y, y, y se las manda a todos o en el WhatsApp, o ¿cómo vamos a hacer? No, no, no. lo vamos a subir ahí en el momento? Se puede no. compartir aquí en Zoom. Yes, se puede ah, compartir. Okay. Yo les doy la opción de compartir pantalla, ahí yo les habilito la opción de compartir la... pantalla y ya. Ah, ok. Ya pueden compartir. Y la segunda es, este, ¿cuánto tiempo tenemos? And that's a, the second question, it's very good. The minimum, it's two minutes. The minimum. Maximum. Okay. The maximum, two five. Minutes. Five two or minutes. seven. <laughs> two minutes, <laughs> Victor. The minimum it's two minutes because if not, you are going to say. Imagine, imagine que lo doy menos de dos minutos. Y viene. Uh, he is my brother. She's my sister. This is my father. Thank you. <laughs> that will be <laughs> ten seconds. <laughs> Thank you for your attention. And now my friend Victor is going to talk. <laughs> ¿Cómo es la presentación del colegio? Sí, sí. Hay comenzar. que enseñarle una foto familiar en el, en, en, en el jardín, en el parque. <laughs> ok. Eh, y pregrabado. <laughs> Ahora van a ver un video mío hablando. <laughs> no, it has to be on the moment, on the spot. Eh, iba a estar usted sí. hablando ahí a la par. Why? And why do I si do no this? Si no a pasar todos. Yes, you can do it. Only two minutes or three minutes per each. Nos quedamos wow. hasta medianoche. Uh, cabal. <laughs> <laughs> Until the next day. At the end of the class, we are going to have some pizza and soda. <laughs> and you are going to have five dollars for the celebration. <laughs> A small pizza. Bueno, bueno. Very good idea. Yeah. Idea. 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 Yes. Very good idea. Like, like, good. In, like in the school, do you remember that they used to say, tomorrow you need to bring $5 for pizza and soda. 
and the piece of pizza was like <laughs> it's cierto. it was very it was very horrible <laughs> the, the ice cream yes. oscar's ice cream <laughs> right for sure so that is going to be for next week okay como diría mi padre soldado avisado no muere en batalla <laughs> <laughs> All right. Because I am telling you with one week in advance for you to practice, for you to prepare, for you to do it in a very organized way. Because si I... no pasamos, no nos dan el diploma. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you are saying, no, aplazo. No, I'm bueno, kidding. <laughs> No, so, yes, you are going to receive it for sure. But, you know, this is something that I, I do as a teacher right, that I do as a teacher for me to make sure that you can express, that you can speak, that you can actually manage these very basic things, okay, yo sé que han pasado 16 días nada más conmigo, pero yo sé que han logrado muchas otras cosas. Moisés, your hand is up, tell me. Eh, yo tengo una duda, cuando yo estoy en la plataforma y eh, le doy a progreso, a mí me parece eh, que como que estoy matriculado en, un, en la parte donde no han certificado o algo así, parece. Ok, si quieres, eh, tómale una foto a lo que te sale y me la envías, por favor. Ok. Ok, please, así la podemos analizar y se las envío yo ahí a los encargados. Ok, my dear students. So uh, that is going to be for next week. Ok, be ready, be prepared because you are going to use it okay you are going to use that uh, all the knowledge that we have obtained so far for your presentation it's going to be nice and easy don't panic about it okay don't panic about the presentations because the idea is that you present and practice okay aquí no estamos para decir oh mire no lo puedo decir ni nada no it's for you to practice right it's for you to practice and for sure, for you to develop your skills. Well, sure. yes? ¿Y cuando van a confirmar que ya está uno en el siguiente módulo? I think you can, you can already ask there. Eh, yo creo Nos que vemos mismo. en la próxima clase. <laughs> <laughs> no, yo creo que sí. Puede enviar la pregunta en el chat y yo se la reenvío a los encargados para que le puedan contestar. Ok. Send me the question on the chat. I can talk about classes, teacher. Mm, I don't think so. Mm. They always change. They always change the teacher for the next module. For sure, I am going to give you classes in another module, right? Yo sé que me lo puedo encontrar por ahí por el módulo 3 o 4. Siempre vuelven, siempre vuelven aquí. A lugar. Es, vuelve. Hey, ¿cómo? Vuelven aquí al primer, al primer amor, que es la primera clase. Teacher, yes. One question. Yes. Eh, en, de una de las eh, evaluaciones del, de la sección 4, uh -huh. eh, decía, she is, eh, cuando es no en yes. Uh -huh. Este, en, me fijé que en, en ocasiones cuando era no, lo, el she's not, lo, uh -huh. solo lo, lo abreviaban. Uh -huh. Y cuando es negativo, she, eh, she, she is not. She is, she is, eh, yes, she is. Uh -huh. Así, el, el, la confirmación, esa sí nunca se puede abreviar, o, o sí. Well, in most of the cases, as I told you before, I don't recommend to, to contract it. But when it is possible, when it is positive, it's like, yes, she is. Just like that. Yes, she is. And yes, uh, no, she is not. In that case, you write it like that. La afirmativa la podemos contractar y la negativa es mejor dejarla completa. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. So it's better. But both of them are okay. Si la deja contractada o no contractada, it's correct. In some cases, it's the platform, the, uh -huh. the settings of the platform. But in normal English, it's correct, right? To leave it in the normal form without contractions. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome, my dear. Here, we're going to work a little bit on a conversation, and you are going to tell me. What clothes, what clothes are these people wearing? And here I have 
two ladies in the picture, right? I have two ladies in the picture. As you can see here, she has a lot of clothes, but this one, she has very light clothes. What is the first lady wearing? She is wearing a hat. What else? A scarf. What else? Purple. A purple scarf, right? She's wearing a coat, right? She's wearing a coat. Boat. She's wearing brown boots. Brown boots. Brown boots. Uh, but no, right? Brown it's boots. Brown boots. Brown boots. Brown and boots. Jeans. jeans. And jeans. Okay. And the other ones, light blue jeans, right? The other one is wearing a Where? light, a light sweater, like the one that I have today. A light sweater, right? Yes. It's a light sweater. And she's wearing a blouse and um skirt, skirt. A skirt right she's wearing a skirt, skirt in shoes high 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 heels high heels she's wearing yeah. high heels Black this is heels. this is not a baby okay this is clothing mm. es una bolsa de ropa no es un bebé it's like a lavanderia. The Laund laundromat. The this, laundromat. Is, this laundromat. is what I explained you yesterday, right? ¿Se acuerdan que ayer le dije? ¿Cómo se dice? Ahí no fue el Right? En la lavandería. Fue a bañar al niño, right? The laundromat. No, it's, this is clothing, right? Mr. Jose Eduardo, help me yes. with the conversation. Oh, no. But, oh, no. What's the matter? Toda. It's snowing. And it's very cool. Cold. 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 Are you wearing your gloves? No. They are they are at home. Well, but you're wearing your coat. But my coat it's warm. I'm I am not wearing but but boots 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 boots. Okay, la dos o juntas son boots. 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 For example, here, if you say boots, boots, how do you read this? Book, book, book. right? Book. Ah, ah, <laughs> is it good? That's for you to keep it in mind. Say boots, and okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Nati. Thank you very much. So everybody, I am going to be, I am going to be the first one, Pat, and all of you are Julie. Oh no. What's oh, no. the matter? What's, What's the matter? matter? What's the 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 matter? The matter. The matter. Okay. No me voy a decir what's the matter. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? It's snowing. It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are at home. They're at home. Well, are you well, where you are learning? Are wearing 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 but my coat isn't warm and I am not wearing boots. Okay, okay. okay. let's take a taxi. Thank you, student. Okay, Thank you, Julie. Thanks, Julie. Thanks, Julie. I don't know how, how am I going to fit 25 people in a taxi. <laughs> I have yes. a question to you. Tell me, Victor. Uh, laundromat is the same laundry. Okay, laundromat, ayer, ah, que ayer no estuvo usted con nosotros. No. Ah, ayer les expliqué esto. Laundromat es la lavandería. <coughs> la lavandería pública. Donde vas y tú mismo lavas la ropa. The laundromat. The laundry, the laundry is in your house. The laundry room. Okay, okay. donde tú lo tienes en tu casa. Pero laundromat es un lugar público donde tú llegas, pagas y lavas. Es la lavandería. So, that's the meaning. The laundromat. Gracias. Thank you. Okay. So, let's move a little bit on this one. Le vas a agarrar frijolitos para que los parten. Bueno, 
I'm sorry. Yo, yo también quiero. Ay, sí, yo también tengo hambre. I'm sorry. <laughs> yo también. I think everybody wants. Aquí todos queremos sí. rosa. <laughs> que sean 25 panes, por favor. Con <laughs> crema. Con crema o queso. No importa. No, o solo. En <laughs> choca. Only that. Con chocolate. Sorry. Ajá, y después con una hojita también. <laughs> for you to for you to stock it in the in the coffee. Okay. Important. Chuponeado. Yes. For you to suck it in. For you to dig it in the coffee. We have been studying this. I am, I am not wearing, right? We studied that. Esa parte ya la estudiamos donde vamos con el presente continuo en afirmativo y negativo. Right? I am wearing, I am not wearing. But there is something here that we have. It's conjunctions with and and but. Okay, the conjunctions in this case, we have the two forms, and and but. And is to connect, and but is to contrast. Okay? It is snowing and it's very cold. Right? Está lloviendo y hace frío. But it says, I am wearing a coat, but... I am not wearing boots. So it's for you to say something in the contrary, right? <coughs> if you say, I love pizza, but I don't like Pizza Hut. Okay, Pizza Hut no me paga nada por ese comercial. It's just, <laughs> it's just an example, right? Or you say, I am very cold, but I don't have a sweater. It's like, ah, come on. I am very cold, but I am wearing sandals. So that is to contrast. So you say, it is snowing and I have a hat. That's good, right? No problem. And is for you to add information and but is for you to contrast information. Let's go back to the presentation, to the conversation, sorry. Let's go back to the conversation here. Do you have examples of N, M, but? Here you have one, right? It but. says, well, you are wearing your coat. It says, you are wearing your coat, but my coat isn't warm, you say. And I am not wearing boots. Okay, aquí contrasta y añade todavía, right? My coat isn't warm and I am not wearing boots, right? You have the two examples there. Let's go back here. Let's go back to this one. And in this one, we also have the questions, right? Aquí también tenemos las preguntas. For the questions, you have, are you wearing a suit, right? This is not suit, okay? Esto no es suit, esto es suit. Are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. No, no, she's she not. Is not. No, she's not. No, she's not. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Or no, they aren't. No, they are not. Or no, they aren't. Right? You have the options there. It is important. The questions, yes or no, always have rising intonation. Las preguntas que empiezan con are o is siempre van con la entonación hacia arriba. Se llama rising intonation, que se va elevando. Are you are wearing a suit? Wearing... Is uh -huh. she wearing boots? Are they wearing glasses? Right? ¿Por qué? Porque si dejamos la pregunta abierta con una entonación hacia arriba, are you wearing a suit? Estamos esperando una respuesta. Yes or no. But if we say, what are you wearing? La entonación va hacia abajo con las preguntas de WH. What are you wearing? Who are you waiting? What is she doing? Okay. You don't say, what is she doing? Right? La entonación es diferente. No podemos decir, where are you from? Diría <laughs> como, ah. <laughs> where are you from? Where are you from, from Canada? And that's the difference, okay? ¿Logran hacer la diferencia? Where yes. are you from? Are yes, you from Canada? In, 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 in
characters. Ah, this one. But imagine that you say, um, I really like you, but I am married. <laughs> <laughs> that's one example right i really need the money but i don't want to work <laughs> este es el tan temido pero uh, that's the meaning pero y este significa y right para agregar información este es para agregar y este es para contrastar it's like, sí, pero no. I really need a new cell phone, but I don't have the money. Mm -hmm. I really want to learn English, but I don't practice. <laughs> I really, I really need to learn vocabulary, but I don't read. So that's the use of but in this, mm. case, right? To contrast. Right. <laughs> now, I see. now it is clear. Okay. Okay, my dear class. Let's continue then with the next examples. I have here the next examples, right? What we have been studying. What we have been studying here. And let me see. There you go. Ya encontré el ventilador. Oye, un ventilador y no lo encontraba. I am wearing. He, she, it is wearing. We, you, and they are wearing. Before the ing in the present continuous, you use the verb to be. Okay, usamos el verbo to be antes de la forma en ing. Um, um, I am wearing. She I is am. wearing. They are wearing. It is. He, she, or it is. We, is. you, and they we are. are. I am. Um, um. Okay, I am. 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 And I have one example here. I have some examples here. And it says, I am wearing boots. I am wearing I boots. I am wearing boots. I'm not wearing boots. I'm not wearing boots. Are you wearing boots? Wearing boots. Are you wearing boots? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Yes, I am. No, I am not. not. No, I am, I am not. No. She is wearing boots. She is wearing boots. She is not 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 wearing boots. Is she wearing boots? She wearing boots. Is she wearing boots? Right? Yes. So she affirmative, is not. negative, no, she's not. And interrogative. Yes. This is yes. what we did on the platform, right? Este lo hicimos en la plataforma. Este también. And just to finish the class, to finish the class, I have uh, this one. So I am going to use this example. I'm going to use this one. Tell me the things that people are wearing. What about Todd? What is he wearing? What is Todd wearing? He is wearing boots. Boot. Boot. He's wearing boots. Yeah. He's wearing boots. Uh -huh. He's tall. He's wearing gloves. He's, He's wearing gloves. Okay, no me pueden decir he is gloves uh, porque ahí es el guante. He is wearing gloves. He's wearing gloves. He's wearing a scarf, right? He's wearing a, a sweater. A sweater. He's wearing a hat, gloves, boots, boots. and pants, right? Pants. Pants. Uh -huh. pants. What about scarf? He's wearing shorts. He's wearing shorts, right? He's wearing shorts. He's wearing. He's wearing. He's wearing. He's cold. He's wearing shorts. He is cold, right? He is cold. He is cold. 
Paul. 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 Wearing a sneakers. He is wearing, he is sneakers. wearing a sneakers. He is wearing socks. <coughs> okay. So he let's is get a, angry. Uh -huh. Yeah, because he's cold. Tiene frío. Aquí la diferencia y la importancia del inglés. Cuando decimos, he is cold, él tiene frío. But if you say, he has a cold, significa que tiene catarro. Uh -huh. He has a cold. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, He is a cold. Si <laughs> <laughs> sí, sí me dice, si sí me dice, He is a cold. Yes. Él es un catarro. Él es un catarro. He is a cold. Uh -huh. Esto sería totalmente incorrecto. Uh -huh. Esto no. Uh -huh. Muerte para el inglés. He is a cold. <laughs> eh, viene catarro. <laughs> no. <laughs> He has a cold. He, he has a cold. Yes. Has a cold. Tiene un resfriado. Pero si me dice, he has. is cold, es que tiene frío. He's That's cold. important. Okay, he is cold. And what about the lady, Maya? She is wearing uh, a uh, dress. Uh, she is wearing a dress. She is wearing a, a dress. And wearing an umbrella. Okay, she's carrying an umbrella. No, she's carrying an umbrella. And she's wearing a coat. Oh. Un abrigo, una chaqueta. A coat. A coat. And the last one. The last one here, Mr. Hugo. He's wearing a jacket with a suit. A suit. A suit. A suit. A suit. A suit. Suit because sweet is dulce. He is wearing sweet pants. Suit, suit, suit is traje. Sweet is dulce. Sweet, dulce, suit, 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 traje. Okay. He is wearing pants. He is wearing pants. He's wearing a jacket. A tie. He is wearing shoes and a hat. And shoes. Uh, wearing glass. Uh, glass. He's glass. wearing glasses. He is wearing pants. Ah, glasses. Pants. Glasses, porque son dos. Glasses. Glasses. Okay. Excellent. He's wearing a tie. He's wearing a tie. Very good job, my dear students, on this class. Tomorrow, it's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all your parents. Enjoy with your family. Have a beautiful weekend. Advance on the platform and practice for your presentation. See you on Monday, my dear students. Have a beautiful night. Night. Thank bye you. Bye. 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 Have a nice bye. weekend. Have a nice weekend, people. Bye bye. Bye, Sophie. Bye. <laughs>